Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to share a shaker card today made with the Good Friends stamp and die set that just came out from Ellen Hudson and MFT. Ellen partners with different companies who produce cute things and really fun sentiments that you can send to encourage others to flourish together. And so I'm going to use it in combination with a die from MFT, and it's the stitched collage frame die. And I've already stamped the images into this piece of watercolor paper. I basically traced the inside of the, the die piece, the die cutout, so that I would have all these shapes. And then I took sticky notes to mask out the outside edges because I don't want my outside edges of the card to have stamping on them. So I just used post-it notes and stamped one of the puppies or kitties in each one. And there's hearts in a bunch of them. And I was thinking recently, when I was looking through the newspaper and saw some of the cartoons in the Sunday paper that were colored in the background with the images not really colored. And I thought, wait a minute, we could do that and make it some of the easiest watercoloring ever. So what I'm doing is just picking a color for each one of my quadrants or not quadrants. There's five of them. So what is, well, quintrant, quintrants, quintuplets, quint something. Anyway, five. Yeah, let's just go for five instead of making up a word. <laughs> and I'm just going to paint a flood of watercolor into each one of the shapes. I'm going a little bit past the pencil line that I made because I don't want that sticking out into the card because I'm going to make a shaker out of each one of these little boxes. And I decided that the puppies could have white ground underneath of them as if it's winter because then I could send this in winter and it would feel like a winter card. But the kitties get full backgrounds because I don't think the kitties would be out in the snow. At least not my kitties. That would not happen. So I'm just throwing some color in there. Now, you can use any colors you want, of course, any kinds of paints. I'm using Daniel Smith paints, and this is my palette that I use with my Daniel Smith paints. If you want more information on that and the colors that are in it, I will share all of that in a link down below, as well as over on the blog. If you want a list of the colors themselves, I will pop that in there. These are my, my favorite current colors, although there's always colors that cry that are in my other palettes, and sometimes I have to pull some of them out. But I try to just use this one for the most part so that you don't have to have your mind blown by how many crazy amazing colors are out there. So I'm going to finish up painting my green one over here with this little puppy, creating kind of a hillside for him to be running up. And I'm doing that by having him come from off the card and then go onto the snow portion. Now the frame I already have prepared and I've got some really tiny Be Creative tape on the back of it. Whenever I do interactive cards, I tend to use Be Creative tape whenever possible because this stuff is so sticky that it will never come undone once you get it down there. And all I have to do is peel off the pieces and stick it onto a piece of acetate that I've cut to the right size so that it will fit. That will be on the front panel and that will hold in whatever is inside the shaker. So I'll turn that over and then I've already prepared a bunch of strips that I cut from my roll of The Precious. We once called this The Precious in Operation Right Home Days. And it's now a three quarter inch roll. They don't any longer make the half inch roll that I used to love. Very sad about that. Cannot even find out why they discontinued it. Don't they know that we need it and we love it? That's kind of crazy. But nonetheless, I think we're actually gonna get more value out of the larger roll in the long run, even though it's more expensive because you can cut it in half or here, I just cut it into really tiny strips that would fit. I'm using my fingertip knife to just slice off little corners, those little pieces off the outside edge so that my top piece and bottom piece can go across. Depending on how small the items are that you're actually going to put inside of your shaker, you, you may want to worry more about how well sealed they are. So if you're using really super fine something or other, then you want to make sure there's absolutely no air. I'm going to be using large beads, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. They can be mostly in there as long as the shapes are closed off a little bit. You also might want to make it two layers thick if you're using a really thick object to put in your shaker. So I'm just going to use one layer because the beads that I'm using are really tiny. So I'm going to stick the bottom piece on here, 
just kind of snug it up against the other pieces that are there, trim it off, and then I figured out that I had to put all my little beads onto the image because I couldn't line up that the, the lines, the little pencil lines that I have here with my die by turning it the other way, which was kind of unfortunate. <laughs> so I had to balance very carefully, make sure that the beads stayed in their little rectangles and squares. And then I added the sediment on top using some more Be Creative tape. And then I can shake it and all my little beads go rolling all over the place. Isn't that cute? Lots of puppies and kitties, but really easy painting. And you can color that the same kind of an idea with any medium. Don't have to be just that. And you can always get the die set and use any old stamp set with it too. The same concept works with a lot of different types of things. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that old like button. And here's some more videos you can watch, etc. And a beginning watercolor class for card makers, specifically focusing on the, the paint itself and doing some fun backgrounds. All right, thanks so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.